DUI and STDs. Ooh, got them both. Hello. <laughs> That's what I call a f good weekend right there. God. Woo! I told him, you look like a 14 years old boy. Why do you get so mad? Why? Why do you have to mad about it? There's a, there's a trick. Oh my God. <laughs> Your calves are looking shiny today, brother. Thank you, brother. And you notice my new police shirt? It it Yeah. It's a new one. Yeah, I got it. And uh, shout out to uh, the PA, Pennsylvania. What? Pittsburgh area. Yeah, they have great um you know, they have great uh goodwills out there. You yeah. found that at Goodwill? Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. That's a clean this looking a, tee. This was a maybe a $2 this was a gem. Diamond in the Rough. Yeah, no kidding. It looks brand new. Um, three standout songs that the police have, have written. Um, Tea in the Sahara. Tea in the Sahara. Uh, Roxanne. Roxanne. Uh, and Can't Stand Losing You. Can't Stand Losing You. Can't Stand. Yeah, or Don't Stand So Close to Me. Don't Stand. Don't Stand So Close to Me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, the one yeah, I was thinking yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, synchronicity. I grew up with synchronicity. Sorry, I didn't mean to do a whole police thing, but I was. I, I grew up with the police. I know we started off with some police brutality in the episode. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I grew up with the police. Yeah, that's good though. Yeah, love Sting but too. Yeah. But they're uh, they're good vibes. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, just just uh, pure rock, pure '80s. Yeah. Do you think Roxanne was a woman he actually got with? <laughs> well, it's. Uh, Roxanne, you don't have to turn on the red. <laughs> Roxanne, you don't have to turn on the red light. I, I don't know. I'm I, yeah. I haven't really analyzed what. I don't know who Roxanne turn is. Turn on the. You don't have to put on the red. Maybe it's like you don't have light. to be. Um, Roxanne, so or reserved like, or something. Maybe or you, like, you could let loose a little. Or, uh, well, I think it's saying maybe maybe he's telling her like you don't have to do that anymore. I love you. Please stop being a prostitute. Do you think well, that that's I right? I, I, I don't know. I think you're kind of... Am I reading too much into the yeah, song? Yeah, maybe you're reaching there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you fell in love with a prostitute. I don't know. I don't know where you got that analysis. <laughs> I was thinking more. I was thinking I'm just more saying. on a relationship thing, like where it's like you don't have to um, be be like be scared anymore like we, we're together. Let's let loose in our relationship move forward. Okay. I don't know where the whole prostitute thing. is it about did you is there something on a wiki you don't know you don't know about the red light district in amsterdam oh that's what you meant i think that that's what it's referring to I, oh because maybe when the police were on tour like in amsterdam they were walking through that and he saw uh roxanne in a roxanne. window you don't have to put on the red light <laughs> oh i just made the connection timestamp <laughs> Just kidding. Wow, that's interesting. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Um, I wanted to address something. Steve wanted to address something real quick. Um, as you know on Scissor Bros, we like to keep it positive. We like to keep it carefree. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the last uh, you know, episode that we posted uh in the comments section and even our Instagrams, and this is the last week, week and a half. Um Woo. Yeah, they've been a little bit rough, and I know it's not uh, a lot mm. of our diehard scissor siblings, um, mm -hmm. but you know there there might have been some of the, of you that um uh, are really upset and don't really know what's going on. Uh, we want to give you a quick update uh, without getting into too much family uh, business and stuff like that. You know. Yeah. Uh, so Steve, you you want to kind of address um, some of those comments uh, just by saying anything uh in regard yeah, to i want it without getting too much into detail because again i didn't want to add fuel to any fire yeah we're a, we're yeah. a very drama free podcast we're trying we, to be we yeah, want to keep it that way yeah we're trying to be positive i think here. that we could have easily uh done the clickbait stuff uh on this podcast but we yeah. didn't want to do that you know yeah we could we want to stay away from drama we stay away from drama politics all that stuff on this yeah pod. i make it a point not to 
to go there. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I just want to let y'all know that me and my brother, I love my brother, okay, um, unconditionally. Um, and we are doing therapy, and we're working on a relationship. I love him, and that's all I wanted to say. I mean, I know that there's things out there, and people have these concepts and assumptions. People but create their own storylines yeah, in their heads yeah. and stuff. The reality is... The reality, what's real is, yeah, we're we're working on our relationship on a weekly basis now. Yeah, like in therapy. Sessions. And the, and in the so long run, honestly, people don't know that. That's yeah. that's the best thing that it's it's going to be the best thing that that can happen to your guys' relationship. So I not only that, it's so it's refreshing for me because we've never had this type of dialogue where it's open and we're like working through things, you know. And that's what I wanted to put out there, and that's what's happening, you know. All this other stuff is like, whoa, okay, well, people don't really know, you know. Yeah, they don't know the full story. And it's honestly, it's <clears throat> not their business, but we did want to give you guys a heads up, uh, just uh, that we're trying to keep it positive on the on the podcast. And, yeah, we and, are. And uh, that, you know, we, uh, we're we all about family and love and, and all that. And uh, speaking of that, uh, we got a great episode for you today. <laughs> <laughs> that was a... The, the little icebreaker. The that, little icebreaker. Yeah, well, the, I think I, I'm starting to feel a little of your energy because we're not, dude, it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. Yeah. We're not used to like acknowledging this stuff or presenting. Well, we're, we, we don't do anything we that's dramatic. To Ger- we, we talk to Gerald. Yeah. Ter- like we do goofy things. We do scissors and we don't really dive into this drama type content. You it's know? out of our comfort zone, to be honest. At all. So at the all, fact yeah, that we're even is. addressing we're not into it, it, you know, all. That, you know yeah. we're in a, we're in a, different place right now yeah yeah we are we are and i'm i'm just grateful that like yeah this is happening you know finally yeah yeah so there you go with our relationship yeah as well lemonade's out of lemon baby that's yeah. what the scissor bros all about brother <laughs> you want to do some scissors or something or? Well, we got a pretty jam-packed scheduled yeah, episode today that do, that, that uh we? we got some fun this is a uh one of those episodes that's a lot of fun because it's a kind of a hybrid between the studio and some of the stuff that we did on the road at our live Ontario show. Mm-hmm. A lot of good stuff from that. Uh, so much good stuff. We couldn't fit it uh, all in this episode. We are going to toss the clips. And if you guys want to see uh, some of the more unedited stuff that's a little bit more raw, that's on Patreon. Uh, but we're giving you, don't feel like oh, all the good stuff is on Patreon. We're giving you a good majority of the episode here in the podcast today. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, we're going to kick it off, actually. We did something a little bit different, and we're going to Start with that footage right here, right now in Ontario. Does anybody, uh, uh, listener, watch the podcast every week in here? Every Friday, y'all tune in at six Let's in the morning, go. though. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just asking, just asking. Okay, what was that? One more time, <laughs> oh, one more time. I post it though. Yeah, I post it and we'll go right to bed. That's true. She, she's right on that. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah, we, already got a, we already got a lady true. wasted on White Claw true. in the second row. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even watch it at six. <laughs> I can't disagree with you, ma'am. I like it. I can't disagree. Heck yeah. Okay. So, uh, if you guys are familiar with the show, uh, we sometimes have a routine that we do different things on the show, different ways that we open the show. And we want to do something special for Ontario, all right? Yeah, we've this never, is the new thing. We've never done this before mm-hmm. at a live show. We are going to start with the challenge right here, right now, baby. Never been done before. Ontario, never you're the first one. Never been done before. First time in Scissor Bro history. But what kind of volunteers do we need? We need, this is also another special thing that we haven't done before. We need four female volunteers <laughs> that are down to do something. It's a physical challenge. Yeah, it is physical. We're not going to tell you what it is until you agree. <laughs> four women. For strong what it is. women. We need, we need our strong women up here. Or, Coordination, balance, or all of it. Mentally strong. Can be yes. physically or it's mentally fun, strong. Though. It will be fun. We need four women to come to the four stage women. who are down for the cause. Wh- yeah? Well, hold up. Uh, we have to pick teams, though, right? Huh? Two for me, two for you? Yeah, let's grab the four, and then okay, we'll... Okay, so yeah. I pick two, you pick two? Sure, that's fine. Okay, so who wants to be on Jeremiah's team? Well, no, no, let's just grab four, and then oh, we'll do it from okay, there. Okay, I'm okay, picking. That's fine. That's fine. That's I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not gonna be the kid on the, <laughs> the kickball court. That's okay, like, yeah, is yeah. anybody... Okay, so just four ladies. Or? We need four ladies. 
One of you? Come on, for sure. Come on up. Come, come on. Come on. You could. You're here together. You could do it. You want, you want to both come, come on? Come on, both come, come on. on. Yeah. You only live once. Come yeah. on. Yeah. We're on. All right, come on up to the yeah, stage over on. here. We're at Ontario Mills. Heck yeah. Come on. Come <laughs> Saying on the full up. name. I like the full name. Ontario clin Mills, the baby. Clinical Great name. shopping mall, by the way. Great yeah. shopping mall. Love it. Love it. Come on up. Come on up. All right, come Heck on yeah. up. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I like the, Oh, firm. Hey, what's She's your name? She's on my team. Firm handshake. She's on my team. Very firm. Very firm. Uh, your name? Natalie. Oh, wait. Do you enjoy Scissor Bros Live? Yes. Podcast? Yes. Okay, are you excited for this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you have Natalie yes. on your team, and then Jocelyn? Yes, Jocelyn. Give it up for Jocelyn, guys. All right, we need, we need two more. Okay, two more. Two more women. Come on. I like how we're split. I like how we're splitting up. Wait, wait. There's one. There's a sis. Oh, come on up. Come on up. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah, come on up. Are you down? There you go. We're getting a big point right here. Are Are you down to come up? Come on. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. All right. Hey. I need one for me, too. Uh, you're on my That's team. You, you, you'll be on Steve's team right here. One over here, please. Come on over. What? And then Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to introduce my teammate. Wow. What's, what's your name? Josie. Give it up for Josie, guys. Josie. And your name? Bree. Bree. Give it up for Give Bree. Give it up for Bree. Okay. Heck yeah. Okay. And then we're going to need a referee that can be male or female for this. Who... I'm going to go with this guy. He gets, goes right here, dude. Just freaking right here. Yeah. You're okay. going to be the ref? Come on okay, up. Okay, come on up. Referee, come on up. Come on up. Yeah. Here we go. All right, now, now we're going to explain what we're doing. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys at family events or when your kids ever did this, if you ever did leg wrestling. <laughs> Do you ever remember this? You Have you ever done leg wrestling before? Steve, let's do a quick demonstration yeah, we're gonna of what do this a is going to go. Okay. It's, and, and some people know it as Indian leg wrestling or just leg wrestling. We're, scissor, scissor leg wrestling. We're going to do some scissor okay, leg wrestling yeah. right here. Okay. All right. Do you want to go down first? <laughs> oh, what's happening? Just go down first. Just go down. Okay. Uh, no, no. <laughs> just, just face You're facing me. You're facing me. No, I go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So the arms are interlocked like this. Your elbows are interlocked. Elbows are interlocked. Okay. Okay. El elbows are interlocked. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and, then, and then this foot's planted on the ground, okay? Yes. Because if you don't do this, you're cheating, okay? Okay. Make sure this is planted. Okay. And then, and then you do we one, do one two, two, and then three. three. And then you freaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you and guys get it. Basically, Whoever that's rolls how it goes. Over. How do you win? You get the other person down either on their side yeah, or their to foot presses the yeah. ground. Okay? Okay. okay. Now, you know Steve, what? Let's, I had an idea. Yeah. Because we always go head to head. Yeah. Why, won't, why don't we do us versus the ladies? <laughs> what do What's you mean? some Andy Kaufman shit. <laughs> like, you don't know, like you wrestle the ladies? So you would go up against one of my teammates? Best believe it. Best believe it. Would Best you guys want to see that? Come on, don't you want to see it? Homage to Andy Kaufman, please. Okay. Okay. Are you all down for it? I'm wearing a thong. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna get Jeremiah. You got Jer. You got it. You got it. Just hold this. Let's pump the brakes for one second. Borrow his shorts, and we can borrow his shorts. If you can borrow. Oh, for oh, I, I've got I've got a pair of shorts in the green room. I'll take it off right now. You wanna borrow my shorts? You wanna borrow my shorts? <laughs> these I washed these this week. Are the Uniqlo. Are, Good prices. Hey Uniqlo. Steve, hey Steve. <laughs> Uniqlo. Hey yeah, Steve, yeah. are are these the new underwear from Sheath called Lucy Gooseys? <laughs> No, these are uh, Hanes. Okay. These are Hanes. From Heck yeah. Target. From Target. Thank you. I like that. Yeah, sorry. I feel, okay. I feel, uh, I feel vulnerable up so here. I wasn't expecting this, but it's okay. 
No, you wait. feel better now? I'm just. You have my shorts. <laughs> but hold on, just give me one second. Okay, go ahead. Go just ahead. let you know, like I know she's wearing a thong, but Steve has long balls that are gonna pop out. <laughs> Uh, I've seen him too many times. He's got some long ones. All right, time stamp that. Who, all right, Ben, time stamp he's that. Gonna, I, edit that out. If we're Absolutely wrestling, not. it's going to pop no. out as soon as he's like, one. Oh, no. Oh, no. I oh, don't no. have long balls. I mean. I don't have long balls. I mean. Ben, edit that out. There's no long balls here. They're a little acorn. It's like an acorn pouch. All right? No long sagging. No, it's like. I yeah. have granny balls that just hang to the yeah, nose. No. 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 <laughs> they don't do that. No. Jeez Louise. That's what I, I think of. That. That's what I think of. The hitchhiker, it's you know what I mean? Demoralizing. Okay. Um, I, are you sure you're going to be good? I'm I, fine. I have a pair yeah. of shorts Let's in the green room. Let's get going. I'm fine. Okay. And what's your name, brother, right here? Robert. Give it up for Robert, guys. Yeah, Robert. Hey, Robert, can you walk in the middle here? Come on in. Come on in. Yeah, yeah you'll, get, be, get in you'll here. be in the middle. There you go. You'll be right there here. You Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Thank and you. the loser of this competition, uh, back in the day, uh, Steve used to cut weight for wrestling and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And what Any wrestlers here? Right one, here? One wrestler. Right, right here. Oh. That's right. All right. Perfect respect, rep for this respect, one. Respect. What weight class were you? 152s. 103? <laughs> okay. Wait, hold up. What yeah. high school? Ayala High. Ayala. Oh, Chino Hills. What, what, uh, what division is that? I mean, what district? Uh, Mount Baldy. Oh, okay, Mount Baldy. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. I accept it. Okay. All right, I accept it. All right. Okay. Uh, so he's going to ref. Uh, the loser, uh, what, like, basically, you guys had to cut weight back in the day. Sometimes you would have to put on, like, sweatsuits or, like, garbage bags sometimes. The yeah. loser, the reason why, another reason why we're doing this at the beginning of the episode is the loser is going to be duct taped by the other team, garbage bags around their entire body, and they're going to be having to sweat it out the rest of the episode. <laughs> yeah, now it's all clicking for you guys why we're doing it like this. I, I saw bought some these at Target. People. These are the biggest trash bags, heavy-duty contractor. So these were the most expensive. Thank you. Okay. Only the best for Only Scissor the best Bros here. Live. I didn't go frugal on this one. I paid top dollar on top that. Top dollar. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're going to go head-to-head, -head basically. It's best two out of three, so left leg and right leg. Yeah. And, uh, and then it's going to whittle it down to the last woman or man standing for whose team it is that wins. Yes, sir. So it's going to start going head-to-head. -head. So we're going to kick it off right here right now. We need some energy in the room. We need some motivation. Come on. Come on. Who wants to step up first on our team? I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. All right. So it's me against her? If you, if you want to face her, now it is. Feel free to commentate. Feel free to commentate. Yo, I'm legit. I'm legit scared of. Feel free to commentate. She got that Theo Vaughn swagger coming up here. Just ready to crush people. I like that. I like that. Okay. Yep. Let me clear this up. All right. Hip to hip. Interlocking arms. Okay. I'm the ref. Interlock the arms. Looking good. One leg up. One leg planted. Remember, no balls. Yep. All right. And now get them interlocked. We're going to do the one, two. Dude, brother. <laughs> brother. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I got to go get shorts for you right now, brother. I just saw pubics. I just saw shaft. I just saw balls. And let's just say this lady got more than her ticket price. I'll tell you that much. Give it up for Steve being willing to put his penis on the line for the challenge. He was willing, and then me, classic cock block over here, had to put shorts on my boy. Okay. Stop encouraging that. Okay, here we go. All right, hit the hip, interlock of the arms, legs up. One, two, Three, go. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Let's go! Let's go! Come back.
back, turn back. Another fact about this challenge that I wanted to wait until we started going. Ladies are better at this she than men. She has a very strong listen, leg. I'm listen, just letting you know, Steve, Steve. she's no joke. That was no joke. Can I ask you one question? Did you play sports? Hold up. Can I, Did you play sports you, in high school? You just cut off my explanation. Give okay, me two okay. seconds. Two seconds. He looked at me like, dude, you're cutting me off. I'm like, dude, I was just going through an explanation, just real quick. <laughs> Ladies are better at this because they have a different center of gravity than men. That's a reason why we're choosing ladies. So it's truly like, we're not like, like oh, like we think we're these powerful men. I think that the ladies are actually going to best Steve and I. So we'll see with that. Go in. Well, I have one question. Yeah. What sport did you play in high school? Um, I did do some volleyball. I did do some floor wrestling. Um, I did a little bit. <laughs> hey, it's best two out of three. Lock them right. back up. Round two. Round two. Let's do this. All right, interlock of the arms, legs up, and count to three. One. One, two, three, go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh. Blood sport, Steve. <laughs> Back at it. Go, go, go. All right, say it all together. One, two, three, go. Come on, come on. Come on, you got this, push. Come on, you got this. Keep going, you got it. Flip him, flip him, flip him. Come on, push a little bit more. Come on, you got it. Push him over the top. Come on. You got this. You got him all day. You got him locked. Come on, Steve. Oh. Wow. Give it up for my teammate. And the villain, Stevie, I can't believe he would do her dirty like that. She's really good. I know she is. It's your turn. The, I saw every vein in Steve's face Dude, pushing. I tried. I tried. Okay. So, you and him, huh? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Natalie. All right. Ready on three? Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right, crowd, let's go. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Same thing, same thing, what you're, whatever you're doing, I love it. Whatever you're doing, I love it. Same thing, I have the tiger, do it. All right, one, two, three. Oh, I saw what he was doing. He didn't, he's doing psychology on you. All right, round three, guys. All right, one, two, three. Awesome. How do you feel beating Jeremiah? Amazing. So, so how does that she, win? She, I, think, she, I, I think I won, right, guys? I really. Did, right? Numerically, I just won, right? Two. Hey, no, no, no. Listen. What? All. They, she could go all the way and sweep your team. That's what, that's what we're doing, dude. It's pyramid style. What do you mean? It's pyramid style. I said last man or woman standing. Oh. They, I'm out. I, I'm out first. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll go. No, no, no. I let me go get it while you guys do this next okay. one. Okay. She'll go. She, yeah. So how does that make sense? I'm confused. Like. I'm confused. Yeah. So who, who's huh? out on your team? Who's out on your team and who's out on my team? I'm the only one out right here, and then and then you're out, right? Yeah. So she could sweep you guys. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh. She could go down and go boom, boom, and boom. So she's going up against her right now. You know what? You can wear my shorts. Yes. Okay. I'll let you wear my shorts. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. There you go. Exactly. Okay. You can wear my shorts. Yeah, go ahead. You can wear my shorts. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah see? That's perfect. One, two, three. 
Come on, come on! Let's go, let's go! She's a threat. Wait, it's just the shorts. That's it threat. wasn't Steve the whole time, it's the magic shorts. She's a real threat, dude. Okay. Okay, switch legs and go back to it. All right, on three. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. That's ref. Ref. As fast as in South America, I don't know about here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going there? So is that a ref? Redo? You got to call this. What is this? We got to give it another three seconds before we call it. Three, two, one, one. and a half. All right. Wait, is that what, a redo? What's, what's your decision? You know, it, it's undecided at this point. We need to have another round two. Reset, reset, ladies, reset. reset. Right. That's fair. That's you're fair. the ref, but that yeah. call sucked. <laughs> She had her freaking up against the ropes. Yeah. But I guess we're okay. doing another round two. Yeah, On three, one, two, three. Oh, there we go. All right. Yeah. Let's call it. Let's call it. We got to call it. We got to call it at this point. All right, all right. Ref is calling it in whose favor? This girl on the floor. Let's go! Let's go! Shake hands. Shake hands. Okay, here we go. You're up now. Again. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I gotta get him shorts. I gotta get him shorts. All right, on three. One, two, three. Yes! Ipan! You. <laughs> you got it, you got it. Right? She's strong, right? Yeah, she's strong. She's so she dislocated strong. my elbow joint. That should be a disqualification, right, guys? Hey. Right, guy? Switch legs, brother. Back at it, dude. All right, on three. One, two, three. Come on, you got this. Push through. Push through. Oh, yes! Let's freaking go! Let's go! Let's go! Well, well, well. I just got to commentate. It's a short. She has such strong legs. Are you up? She's strong, dude. She's strong. Wow. I swear, she is so strong. Her legs are strong. Wow, this is like the story of Greek gods right now. You're it. This is it. Do you have any, do you have any final words before oh, they, they well go? I want to talk to my teammate. How much juice you got left in the tank? She's strong. Um, I'm good. At the very top, she clamps down. And then I she's like that. Really I like your energy. Strength. And you killed it, too. I feel like, you, like, like you probably yeah, yeah, yeah. actually beat Steve, okay. but he found a way to. Okay, that's fine. He cheated. He tried doing that um, shoulder dislocating thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he did earlier. There's no cheating here, lady. 100%. You're talking to the wrong one. I'm sorry. No. Now. Yeah, he I'm loses. By the rules. He loses to women fair and square. All right. Well, I still got one on my side. I still got one on my side, and it okay, looks like they're going go. head to head right now. That's the last one. All right. Me in the you middle. Shake hands. She's strong. Oh, she's strong. Okay. Here we go. We need everybody yelling at the same time to get this going. Ready? One, two. Three, go! Switch it up, switch it up, switch it up. All right, everyone, let's hear it loud, let's hear it proud on three. One, two, three. Oh my God. Oh my God, I gotta say a prayer. Oh, thank you, Lord. Jeremiah wins 90% of these challenges. Thank you so much. I'm really enjoying our time at, at this improv. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much for your blessings. Uh, thank you for blessing us. Thank you. <laughs> louder, louder, the whole time. Louder, go, 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 go. Uh, 
Dude, Steve is loving this so much. He's going to be jerking off to your chants later. He's going to be like, Stevie, 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 Stevie. Grief. All right. So what we need to do, uh, I'm taking it for the team. If, if all you gals can uh, start wrapping me in trash bags from head to toe, I'm going to be like a trash bag mummy on stage uh, just with my, uh, my head cut out so I can breathe out of the, the top. Why do I feel like I look like one of those weird European models right now? And give it up to all the contestants that took part in this challenge. Thank you all. Thank you. And let's give it up for the referee. Thank you. Are you, Thanks, guys. Are you happy with this? I'm you, happy. Do you fine. want my arms? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Great. So this is like, I think, our seventh or eighth live show, guys. Yeah. We're having a lot of fun. We love the improv. They've always showed us love. Huh. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel all right. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I thought you guys, honestly, I was ready for a little bit more punishment. You know what I mean? This feels a little, like, t I got my, my arms out. It feels know? light, too? The punishment oh, yeah. feels light? Of course it does. What? Do you all have suggestions to spice it up? Herpy. Wait, what would you say? Herpy? Herpy? Herpy. Herpes? <laughs> Have you ever browsed in incognito mode? Yes. Well, it's probably not as incognito as you think. And why would it be? Incognito mode, like the Chrome browser itself, is a Google product. Google has made its fortune by tracking your movements online. Google's defense? Incognito does not mean invisible. So how do you actually make yourself as invisible as possible online? You use ExpressVPN like we do. Duh. Even in incognito mode, your online activity still gets tracked and data brokers still get to buy and sell your info. Hmm. Data harvesters use your IP to uniquely identify you and your location. With ExpressVPN, your connection gets rerouted through an encrypted server masking your IP. Every time you connect with ExpressVPN, you get a random IP address shared by many other ExpressVPN customers. That makes it harder for third parties to identify you and harvest your data. Best of all, ExpressVPN is super easy to use. No matter what device you're on, phone, laptop, or smart TV, all you have to do is tap one button for instant protection. If you really want to go incognito and protect your privacy, secure yourself with the number one rated VPN. Visit expressvpn.com slash scissorbros and get three extra months for free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash scissorbros. Go to expressvpn.com slash scissorbros to learn more. Express V P N. <laughs> so Eugene, um, do you think that um, maybe we could uh, watch a television program together later? Absolutely. The boys. Burpees. Oh, burpees. Herpes? Burpees. Burpees. Um, who said burpees? Um, a gentleman, can you come up on stage real quick and demonstrate what a hell a burpee is? Thank you. Give it up. Give it up for him. Because I'll do a burpee that rhymes with herpes just to make him suffer. Go ahead. What? Your name, your name? Devin. Devin, uh, explain what a burpee is. Uh, you go down and you do a push-up as so. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh I, re I remember those, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, how many do am I supposed to do That's in a this? great idea. Was That's that? a fantastic idea. How many should we make him do? How? 20? Oh, I like that. And then do a scissor at the top, huh? Yeah. Okay, That's genius. okay. So, so actually, so let's do some scissors, but only when I come up to... For yeah. <laughs> we'll Everyone do in here has to do scissors with his burpees. Yeah. Is that fair? Okay. The okay, hardest part on. is the duct tape this. around the waist <laughs> yeah. right here. And then if he's doing them wrong, you could make him do it over. Okay. Ready? Okay. Okay, scissor time. Welcome, to our, welcome to our weirdest live yeah. show yet. I have it no is. idea what is happening right now. All right. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. You want to count down? <laughs> Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Go! One. <laughs> two. show. Nashville hot chicken sandwich right before the show. <laughs> Ooh. Big mistake. This is probably my favorite live show ever. <gasps> I'm having a great time. You know what I'm saying? Did you like that challenge? Oh, yeah. yeah. I actually pulled my, my back. I saw that. Yeah, I didn't want to, I because I noticed it afterwards. It something in my lower back. My mom has these pro back the problems. The way your too. arm turned, I was yeah. like, that didn't look good. No, no, no. But it it, it affected my lower back area. Like the I don't know the name area of, or whatever. I don't know the name of the muscle or anything. Yeah. But um, I noticed too, uh, th it's almost kind of like this. It's like imagine like these um, like these uh, screws that like get like I, I guess that are like kind of connected yeah uh something like uh the alignment on one of my back it's muscles. out of alignment one of yeah the... one went like this where it affected i couldn't extend my back all the way and i felt it when uh you know when i went on my trip there i was walking around like 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 an old korean man like just with like, like yeah like, i was I'm sorry terrence. oh terrence sorry sorry terrence. sorry I was actually holding. I was actually trying to hit. Oh, oh sorry. George. What the oh fuck, my. man? Wow. That wasn't cool at all. Sorry guys. sorry, guys. I was actually trying to hit hit it into place. Gotcha. But uh, my girl Wait, speaking... um, got me some Tiger Bomb. There's a Tiger Bomb uh, pad that uh, you could uh, like a heat pad. Like a yeah, it's a. It, there's a sticky sealant stuff that attaches there, and then you you experience hot and cold. Now speaking of your mom, didn't we talk to your mom at the live show? Oh, yeah, we threw a little curveball at her. <laughs> Have you guys, do you guys know my mom? Yeah. Let me ask you this. Do you think she'd be a great guest on Scissor Bros? Because yeah. that's my mom, too, not just Bob's. That's my mom, too. I came out of her vagina as well, okay? Two came out. I was the second one. Okay. So I don't know if my mom's going to pick up, but why not? We're just kind of free balling here. We're going to FaceTime her. Okay. Hey, you speak into that? Okay. Mom! What up, man? Yeah, there's a crowd here. Have her face you so you can see her. What was that? She, you gotta, she gotta see you now. Hi, Mom, I'm here. Okay. Okay, there's a crowd. <laughs> Jeremiah, what? Wait, what was that, Mom? I'm a girl. Embarrassed. You're embarrassed? 
Ugh. Oh, they love you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Wait, so what was that, Mom? Say it. Say it. We love you. Oh. We love you. I don't know what that means, but we'll go along with it. Uh, uh, Jeremiah wants to ask you some questions, Mom, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi. I know you. Hi, how are you? I know you. All you can see is my nose right now. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know. I wanted to ask you, do you have a favorite son between Bob or Steve? No, I, they asked me yesterday. I said, it's an even name. Evenly same. Evenly same. Yeah. Because That's I nice. Don't choose nothing. Are you, are you, you like your mom and dad? I like, I like my mom better. I like my mom better. <laughs> I'm, a, I, I'm a mama's boy. What what is Steve? What would you say Steve's personality is like? Just like me. Don't, don't ask. I have a good personality, so don't ask. No, no he's a, he, he has a little bit temper, but he's very... <laughs> and he's a very look young. He's like almost 50. I told him, you look like a 14 years old boy. <laughs> Why? Why do you have to mess about it? If somebody tell me I look like a 40, I'm going to get happy, you know? But have you, do you have any new BTS pictures or any music that you're listening to? Oh, yeah. I, I, I listen to them every day. Uh, yesterday, Jungkook's uh, left and right with the Charlie Puth, you know? Oh, you like Charlie Puth as well? Okay. Yeah. Are you watching any new shows on Netflix or, or anything online? Yeah. I, you know, they have new, new dramas, but I cannot say it in English. It's a difference, you know. It's very, sorry. But, uh, Steve, you have, any, you have any questions for mom? Mom, I love you. Yeah, it's the end. Uh, uh, pretty soon. Uh, let's, uh, Jeremiah have, wants to ask you something. you have any questions? No, I, I talk to her all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to protect my mom. I'll, I'll, I'll see you in Arizona soon, oh, mom. I have a question. I have a question. Wait, one last question, mom. I think yeah, you'll be able to you know. answer th this one easily. Who has better hygiene, Bobby or Steve? IQ? No. Hygiene. Hi hygiene. Like, um, who takes care of their bodies uh, better, Bobby or Steve? I Wait, wait, what'd you say about the skin? What, say, say that again? What, what did you say? What skin? What skin? That's your mic, that's her mic. <laughs> my Goju skin? She's talking about my nut skin. <laughs> Unbelievable. I love you, Mom. I don't like to take a bath every day, just uh, twice a week. I think that's a good hygiene for me, you know? Wow. Why you have to wait the water? Because we have to, uh, uh, you know, save water. So, she said you're trying to save water by not bathing every day. day you know? Wow, unbelievable. Am I look nice or what? I cannot see myself, you know. Ask who has more money, Bob or me. Who has, who, who has more money, Bob or Steve? Because I heard... I am. I am. Because I, I heard I heard that... I heard that Steve took you and Bobby out to dinner the other night. Was that nice? Yeah, yeah. God, he got so mad because it was so expensive, you know. Because yeah, I, I never paid, pay, right, Mom? Uh, you paid. <laughs> Guys, give it up for Steve's Ama, everybody. Come on. Mom, I love you. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Mm. Love you. All right, say goodbye to my mom. 
Okay, love you guys. Hell yeah. We can. You too, Mom. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Love you, Mom. Interesting. Can I, I'll confess. So, yeah, I used to itch my nuts. Because uh, uh, Arizona summers are hot. You know, I went to ASU. And so she, my mom took me to, a, like, a nut doctor. So ever since then, she's like, you have to wash. Wash. Wait, wait, wait. Wash it. Hot water. Wash. It got, Steve, it got so out of hand that your mom was commenting on how much you were doing it over the pants? I mean, I used to work at IHOP in uh, Tempe there off Apache Boulevard, and even the manager, like, pulled me aside. She's like, um, Steven, can I have a word with you? And she goes, you seem to be itching down there quite often. Uh, we're going to have to have a meeting about this. You're going to have to take care of it. Like, like, dude, I basically got fired because I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just itching away. I think there's a name for it. I think it's called eczema, right, guys? I, wait, no? This guy's like, nah, dude. You got something different, dude. <laughs> He's like, that's not it. So, it's not eczema? Wait, herpes? You said burpees, right, sir? And not the herpes. No, he's yelling for Herpes. me to do more burpees. <laughs> yeah, it was burpees. Yeah. So eczema. It was eczema. Yeah. 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 I love your mom, man. She's the best. Speaking of moms, I saw my dad in Minnesota. Yeah? Yeah. You know I, was, I got love for your father. And he has love for you. He, he, does, always, asked, he? he always asks he about you. He? I, I met up with him uh, at Red Lobster, and then uh, we got to play some pool together. Really? Do you want to see some? Absolutely. Our home away from home. Here oh, with my dad do at Red Lobster. That's right. He made the trip up from Kansas City. That's right. I'm a very loyal fan. What all did you eat? I see, I started out with a couple of burritos, and then I had a hot dog, and then I finished one of her burritos, and now we just pigged out a Red Lobster, so been a good day. Oh, good. I'm on a diet, too, if you can probably tell. Uh, uh, seafood diet? <laughs> <laughs> seafood diet. Uh, now, the, the viewers and the listeners want to know an update on your car. What What's well, going on with it? Well, we're making progress on the car. It's drivable. <laughs> Gauges don't work. Air conditioning doesn't work. <laughs> and I don't have a driver passenger seat in there because it weighs 100 pounds and I want to keep it lighter for it's faster. With the, it's more uh, aerodynamic. Uh, right? Hell yeah, it'll go it's about yeah. a fraction of a second faster without that seat. But uh, running great. How, how much damage would you say you caused with that car fire? Well, if I'd had to pay somebody several thousand, but since I'm doing all the work, it's going to cost me somewhere around $500. Between 500 and 1000 does it smell better in the car now since well, you lit the incense? I can never advertise that it wasn't smoked in. <laughs> Probably can't put that in my head when I get ready to sell it. So, but yeah, it's it's kind of mellowed out, or maybe I'm getting used to it. It's probably a combination of the two. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's I've got all the soot and stuff out of it. That's good. I don't get in there and ruin my clothes like I did the first week or two I worked on it. Right. All the black. So yeah. It's, well, let's go it's, play. It's, some, let's go play some pool together. Some pool. All right. That do coming through. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Come on, that's exactly what I want you to do. Come on, come on, right there, right there, right there. Move, move, move. Nice. Now yeah, play off your ball. You want to call it? No, you, you touch your ball first. Okay. You're good. Right. Okay. You're good. Okay. Bad, bad leave, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little hard. A little hard, though. Orange. Did it again. Did it to myself. 
So as I'm lined up on the eight ball, my dad says we have to win on a bank. <laughs> so he can stay in it. <laughs> Close. Yeah, yeah, but you know what they say about boats. Only you know, they horseshoes and hand grenades. <laughs> Did you do anything else when you were in Minnesota? You know what? I met up with uh, my Brian, uh, my buddy um, uh, Brian Casey, mm-hmm. and uh, he's like an amazing musician and composer and producer. What kind of instrument? He's a multi. He does it he's all. He's like a genius with composer. that stuff. Composer. Yeah. Violin. I don't know about violin, but he can do like guitar and 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 keys and like like a lot of synths and right. different stuff like that and. Yeah, drums. Okay. He does it all. He does it all. Uh, I we stumbled upon. We we're walking around in Minneapolis, and they had one of those um, outdoor uh, pianos that anybody could play. And he just like hopped on it, and I just like got a little bit of footage of that. And then we went to his place, and uh, he has a wiener dog named Hermione. Oh, a Dotson. Yeah, that's a wiener dog, right? A Dotson. Yeah. So Dude. I've got some, I got some footage of um of him playing some piano and us and me looking at his wiener dog. <laughs> I love Minneapolis. Hermione, hi. What you looking at? You are a cutie. There's a cute dog. There's a cute dog. Right there. How did your shows go, by the way? Dude, I love that club. Acme Comedy Club. It's so, like one of my favorites. Is it in the, a mall or something? Or how does that it's work? It's not, uh, actually. But I did, you know what? I did actually go to the mall, though. Where there is a different comedy club at that mall. Uh, yeah. The Great Mall of America. Um, right. That's I, the big, big that's one. That's a big one. I'd never been there before. They, yeah. They have an aquarium there. Did you know they have an aquarium at that mall? No, I the when when Mon, when Monchi was doing, when we were doing um, shows there, they had an underground mall system yeah like where there's shopping like it was underneath like where the subway would be but it was all shopping center is it, it that one maybe i don't know this thing's huge this mall is huge but was it underground maybe parts of it i don't know no this was all underground it's for the winter time when because people it's too cold to walk around oh yeah the, it's a whole world down there the aquarium was underground really i went there with um, my buddy uh rosebud baker super funny comic um from new york she mm-hmm. was in town she was headlining shout out to rosebud baker yeah she was headlining at the other comedy club mm-hmm. and i was headlining over at acme so you guys connected so we got together on a saturday and we got to hang out and we went to a- an aquarium together look at these piranha just this chilling this guy's talking to me yeah yeah he's moving his little tubers. what's he saying it's actually um, hate speech, so I can't rip, I can't say it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. He said, get right. the Jews out of the bank. Whoa, we'll keep it moving. That's what he said. <laughs> These are poison dart frogs. They look very nice to the touch, but don't touch them. They will kill you. <laughs> That's a freaking shark. Hi. Oh, wow. That is so cool. So cool. Yeah. Oh, they're everywhere. I love this aquarium. It's got a gross smell. I think you can see it in the china. What? Sick, dude. Awesome. Yeah, they're sharks. Had horizontal pussies. Yeah, they're horizontal. They're just straight, yeah. like the emoji. <laughs> just the, just the displeased emoji. Just, <laughs> <laughs> he wants to say hello. This guy's ballsy. He's like, get off of my lawn. What are you doing? Hey, he's a Clint Eastwood on missions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Whoa. Look at these guys. It looks like it's half alligator. That's messed up. I'm uncomfortable with its face. I know. Is it a swordfish? Uh, I don't know what these 
Status right here. Okay. We're looking for Nemo. <laughs> Hello. Hi. This is so amazing. Oh my god, I wish I had a carrot. Oh my god, I want to feed it a carrot. I would love to feed it. Hi, baby. Hi. He's waving at me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> This is so cool. Oh my god, I'm like touching him. That's so cool. Dude, that is a dinosaur. That is it a really is. living dinosaur. Sorry. Oh, it's so bad we're in front of the kid. It's okay. I remember going to the aquarium. Yeah, yeah. It's the first time I've ever full <laughs> This LCD sound system concert is lit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you do anything else in this particular mall? As a matter of fact, I did a lot of different stuff in this mall. Did you eat? What, what was the food court area like? Um. Well, by the food court, um, they actually had like we were thinking about going to get some food, but like this stopped us dead in our tracks. We we're just gonna walk around and look at the other shops and stuff like that. Yeah. They had these little motorized stuffed animals that you could put a quarter in no you paid ten dollars and you got 15 minutes on on the ride and it was a do they motorized move? do they move yeah you gotta steer like it a like a little car it's like a motorcycle yeah yeah but, isn't but that, for kids but isn't that dangerous no, no no they they topped out at like only a few miles an hour but it was you like could little go scooters. Any, but you could go anywhere in the mall. Well, kind of. You, is it like the um, Danny in The Shining with his yes, Hot Wheels? The little tricycle kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that like Danny? Yeah, but motorized. But in The Shining, he could go anywhere in the hotel. Yeah, but you couldn't really go anywhere. Like, you're only supposed to go at, like, certain parts of the mall. Yeah. But we kind of, like, ventured off a little bit. Oh, did security get involved? No, but I might have gone to a Cinnabon. I love Cinnabon. We drove around and then I went to a Cinnabon and then we went to a, and then we went to a Foot Locker and then hold up, man, that's so random. You went to a Cinnabon. Did you purchase anything at Cinnabon? Let's take a look at all this footage. There's a there's a trick. Oh my god! <laughs> this is insane! This is insane! What is? <laughs> Right now, we have little motorized animals. This is so silly. <laughs> this is incredible. Woohoo! We got 10 minutes on these bad boys. 10 minutes of going around the mall. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Ah! Come on, real quick. We're shopping in a Foot Locker on these things. I just got Cinnabon. 
and a drive through. You see anything good, Rosebud? Um, you keep telling me my money's no good here, but. Explain what, what we got here. Yeah, so we have Wonder Pack. This big boss. They're called Wonder Pads? Yes. And no, Wonder Packs. Wonder Packs. Yes, they're reusable high quote packs. Okay. So you see the little point in here? Yeah. I'm gonna give it a good pinch. Okay. It's gonna activate the heat inside. Okay. You can see it's Whoa. It's cheap. Uh huh. It starts to get hot. Look, it got okay. goofy. Yeah. You're fit. Okay. Oh, so you just put it on your neck? Well, oh, that actually feels pretty good. Yeah, right. This is actually the one for the neck and shoulder. Yeah? Right? You get neck pain? Yeah. 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 Huh, yeah. Okay. Right. So you can also get a massage out of it as well with a pressure point. So oh, have... yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. And then you can flip it over like this for any, like, headaches, migraines, but obviously you get cold. Oh, <laughs> there it is. I want some. You want some? <laughs> Yes, right? <laughs> but but this one first. <laughs> right? Oh my god. These are cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. Did they have cuz I've heard things about this mall. Mhm. Mm I heard they got crazy like water slides or roller coasters or something. Is this true? Oh yeah, we there, there was a, a whole theme park inside this mall. That's how big this mall so was. So there's a Disneyland within this park. Essentially, yeah. But how extensive is it? Is it big? Dude, it was it was pretty. It's not awesome. an amusement park though. It's a full on amusement park inside of the mall. How how big? I mean, this must be a gigantic mall then. No, no, it's literally it's called the Mall of America. It's like it's one of the biggest malls in the country. So it's still in business. People go to this place. Oh, it's active. It was popping. It was popping there. Yeah, we rode a roller coaster in the mall. Inside the mall, inside we rode the mall. A roller coaster. Inside, in inside the mall. Now, okay, comparatively to Montezuma's Revenge or Colossus. These roller coasters that exist in California. It was California. pretty fast. But did it have huge drops and upside down hoops and loops? And Let's take a look at that footage. <sighs> Okie dokie. Here we're at the Mall of America about to ride the SpongeBob ride. They're about ready to drop up there. This is like one of the scarier rides that we're looking at. And there goes the drop right there. Woo! They didn't even scream. Impressive. There we go. I think they're depressed. They're probably depressed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. I gotta pull my phone away. I'm yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. You hold on to it. I'm holding on to it. So tight. You can get all the content. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Oh my goodness. Where's your babe? Where's your babe? Where'd your babe go? Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh All right. Here we go. Here we go. This my favorite. Coaster community. Coaster community. Coaster heads for life. Let's do this. Okay. 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 That was the worst thing ever. <laughs> I give it a three. Oh my god. Oh, I, man. I, I think I have a, a grip mark in my phone now <laughs> from holding on so tight. Oh, oh, right? It's just oh. melted. Oh. 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 I'm shaking. I'm shaking right now. So Woo. Woo. Oh my god. I appreciate you letting me present 
a lot of footage this episode. Oh, yeah. I got a lot. Mm-hmm. And I'm aware of that, guys. But you know what? Sometimes there's some adventures. I want to feature my pal Rosebud. You got to go see her live. She's really funny. Oh, yeah. You got to check her out if she's in a city near you. She's a writer for Saturday Night Live right now. Where she live? In New York. Oh, she's a New Yorker. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what's up. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Rosebud, baby. Um, But uh, I wanted to... Uh, we have a couple more things at the live show that uh, I, I, I want to show. We had a very interesting, and I think it's a good part of the episode that, I, that I'm hoping that you guys join in on because it was a un- unique one. Uh, but but remember the dance party break that we did on... T- ter- did you look? <laughs> Dude, where's the lighter? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I have mine over here. Oh, man, we took my lighter I'm away. I'm sorry. Dude, I had one. You right. had one in the chamber? I know I heard it. It was a juicer. Yeah. Juicy. Juicer out of the cabooser? Yeah, juicer out of the cabooser. All right, just, okay, c- keep going. Yeah, it, that was, it, the moment had passed. It's okay. Can I have my lighter here for next time? You got it. That would have been a, a, our sorry. first blue flame. It would have been a but moment. But continue, but continue. Well, we have the, 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 let's cut to the dance party break right now. Oh, Steve. Yeah. I forgot the music. Can I, can you I can, add it in later? You can add it in later. Yeah. Okay, so for those of you who uh, we usually don't have people in the room with us, I added in later, so we're gonna actually we're gonna dance in, in silence together right now. Yes. Okay, so what type of dance would you like to do, ma'am? All of them. Are you all ready? So just do your own interpretive ballerina dance. All right. Okay? You ready? Okay, all right. Ready? Do you have bad knees too? Then That's stand fine, up. Yeah. So, yes. Okay. Come on, guys. You right here. This is the Scissor Swan Dance. Ballet, huh? Scissor Swan Ballet Dance. I'm going to come to you then. Okay. I'm coming to you. Okay. He said he's in a wheelchair. I didn't. I couldn't see that from here. I'm coming yeah. to him. I am already the villain of the night, guys. I already yeah. accidentally did it, all right? He's in a wheelchair. I'm coming to him. All right. Are you all ready? Ready? Three. Uh, three. Two. two one. one. Go. Go, go, move around. We're doing 20 minutes of this, all right? More, more, keep going. Stand them up, stand them up, stand them up, stand them up, stand them up. Done, guys, keep going. Yeah. All right, a round of applause for you. Give yourselves a round of applause. Woo. Now I wanted to end it with something special. You know, I wrote this song from my heart, and uh, it means a lot. You know, oh, yeah. I think you guys are gonna appreciate this. Uh, I, hope they, I hope they do. I I hope you guys like this kind of uh, pseudo half live, half studio version of Scissor Bros and a lot of clips and stuff like that. Like we say, it's different every week. Mm-hmm. We don't know what to expect. Uh, we'll be fully in the studio uh, next week. Uh, we still have some awesome challenges that we're gonna get to from Camp Raw that we shot there. Mm-hmm. So there's gonna be some mixed in with that. But we'll be in the studio next week, and we got a lot of fun stuff 
plan for this next episode. But we hope you enjoyed this episode. We appreciate you liking, commenting, subscribing. And then uh, if you want to see the raw, unedited version of uh, the uh, the Scissor Bros live in Ontario, uh, there's a lot of heckling and stuff like that that we didn't include. Uh, you could just check it out on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Scissor Bros. Subscribe today. Be involved. Exclusive content only on our Patreon. And you know what? Let's get into this final song on Scissor Bros, and we'll say it. We love you, and we'll see you soon. I asked Steve, I was like, you know, we got a live show coming up. We got to write a song. He just goes, I got you. <laughs> and I, I, I usually don't let Steve just go, just go for it. Unless he really wants to, you know what I mean. We usually collaborate the on the. We we write the songs together. We collaborate on them. You I'm know what I mean. I'm in love, guys. I'm in love. I'm committed. Shout out to my gal in Pennsylvania. Not disclosing her address or her name. But I'm in love, and I'm in love with her dogs too. She has three beautiful Chihuahuas. Okay. So I just felt the need to write a love song about her and her chihuahuas, okay? It's, I wrote it for my heart, okay? I wrote it for my heart, okay? Can we sing it for you guys? Yeah. Oh, we, okay. This song is called, what was that? I love puppies. Thank you. I love puppies too, thank you. We all love puppies, right? Yeah. Okay. These are puppies are older chihuahuas, though. <laughs> this song is called beautiful chihuahuas, okay? No, she will when she watches this. Right? Is that a good move or what? Yeah. <laughs> Is it okay if I, I rip the garbage so I can play the guitar, yeah, guys? go ahead. Go ahead. All right, so we just wrote this, so just bear with us. This is about her three beautiful chihuahuas. Come on, don't be so over dramatic. Get it together. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to fight with you. I love you. I don't want to fight with you. You have an odd way of showing it tonight, no, brother. No, 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 no. You know what? Raising canes on me. Right, guys? He does it's his day. He deserves some raising canes. I'll get you a large lemonade too. Okay? See? I got love in my heart. What was that? Get extra Man, toast. Extra toast. The garlic toast. Buttered on both sides, baby. She knows her raising canes. Life hack. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I don't really know where this is going. Uh, I've got a melody in mind that I'm gonna play, yeah, and go then ahead. I'll I'll kind of like we'll echo like, you. We'll is that cool? It out. We'll figure it out as we go. All right. Are okay. you guys excited? We've never done this song before. Yeah. I love you yeah. guys. Thanks for coming out. We love you. We appreciate you guys coming out tonight. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Just, just go with it, go with it. Go with it. Just go with it. <laughs> Beautiful chihuahuas. Beautiful chihuahuas, beautiful chihuahuas, beautiful chihuahuas. My love can't be pardoned. I think of your garden and your three chihuahuas. Three chihuahuas. And your three chihuahuas. And your three chihuahuas. This one's for Winnie. For Winnie. This one's for Daisy. This one's for Top Top. Top Top. Three loves in one cup. Beautiful Chihuahuas. Beautiful Chihuahuas. Makes me want to holler. Beautiful Chihuahuas. Beautiful Chihuahuas. Worth a million dollars. Something, something. Beautiful Chihuahuas. Makes me feel like I'm a baller. I will pop my collar. He'll pop his collar. For three beautiful chihuahuas. Three beautiful chihuahuas. 
Beautiful Chihuahua. 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 No, I'm not knocking the song at all, but is there more lyrics than beautiful chihuahuas? That's what you, that's what I got. That's I wrote it from my heart. Join with us, folks. Beautiful chihuahuas. Beautiful chihuahuas. Beautiful chihuahuas. Beautiful chihuahuas. Beautiful chihuahuas. Beautiful Chihuahua. Beautiful Chihuahua. Beautiful Chihuahua. Beautiful Chihuahua. Beautiful Chihuahua. Beautiful Chihuahua. Three beautiful Chihuahua. Beautiful Chihuahua. Beautiful Chihuahua. Beautiful Chihuahua. Thanks for coming out, yo. We love you. Please stick around. We have some merch um, near the front door, okay? And we'll be we'll be chilling after. So we thank hope this you. Scissor Bros Live was everything you guys wanted it to be. We had a blast, Ontario. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We love you guys. We love you. Good night. Is anyone still there? It's your pal Gerald and just wondering why the fuck Terrence and I were acknowledged for like two seconds and then Steve and Jeremiah just kind of moved on at the show. Didn't check in with us, just kind of bumped us metaphorically and literally around and you know, just feeling a little, a little frustrated. But, you know, got to keep it positive. I have some man awards. Yes, it was self-inflicted. I am aware that I need to stop hooking up with, as the kids call it, strange. And uh, I need to get with some better, some better animals. But, you know, some things I'm working on. Anywho, things are pretty good on my end of things. Outside of, well, not the rear end of things. Definitely still with the anal warts. Other than that, things are pretty fucking good. So I just swear. Um, but yeah, things are pretty solid. And um, oh yeah, did you guys see that I produced that, that stand up on the spot that with Mark Norman and Ari Shafir and Giannis Papas and the Are You Garbage guys? Jeremiah never gives me producer credit, but just know that that show would never get out there without, without your pal Gerald. So check that out. Love you guys. Check out some fun stuff on Patreon. And, you know, we just love you and appreciate you for being here. Have a great week. Love you. Bye. My love can't be pardoned. I think of your garden. And your three chihuahuas. Three chihuahuas. And your three chihuahuas. And your three chihuahuas. This one's for winning. 